ass out. We be going wild. Haitian in the building. So, so, so original. Got the haters. Got your feelings. Get your hands up to the ceiling. And keep them held high. Cause St. Louis is ready. Forget about it. Goodbye. Hold up. We just saying hi. Five somebody. Rise up. Weekdays. Catch us live. Somebody. Let's go. Good afternoon, everybody. And welcome to the Pascal Show. Uh, you know, I wasn't planning. Honestly, was not planning on coming on this uh today, this afternoon and all that. But there's been some breaking news and, you know, it's kind of like uh, the Godfather. You think you're out and, t- and then they start dragging you back in. Uh, we have some breaking news or it's 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 broke like it, it broke like about two, three hours ago. But we got to talk about it, obviously. Um, and it's not great news for those of y'all who are big fans of this artist, of this singer, and all that. Um, But this is breaking news. Meatloaf has died at the age of 74 years old, y'all. No lie, 74 years old, and uh, he is gone. So the bat out of hell singer, the uh, I, I, I call him like an operatic rock, like rock opera singer. That's kind of how I categorized him. But he is no longer here with us he has passed and we got to talk about it the reason why is because i think this is a a a a decent cautionary tale for a lot of people that are maybe on the fence about whether to uh get up to date or not get up to date because there's a question of what is his cause of death how did he pass and the information might shock you of all things So, of course, we got to get into this story. But before we do, do me the small favor. Hit that like button down below. Send those likes all the way up. I would really appreciate that. Sorry, this uh, this thing's losing its mind behind me, this wire. Anyway, headphones are losing their damn minds. Anyway, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, if this is your first time checking out this show, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Pascal Show. Uh, You know, we cover everything from pop culture to trending news to controversial topics, current events, and all of that. And today we got to talk about this. I, I just figured this is a serious conversation. I think that you need we need to talk about it. Um. Wasn't planning on going on, but I, you know, I felt like we needed to talk about this, okay? And I know that there's some people out here that feel some type of way about whether to or whether not to and all that. But at the same time, I just feel like, well, I'll put in my two cents in a little while, okay? But let's get into this, y'all. You know, we got we got the weekend to get ready for. So, you know, I don't want to le- keep you guys too long. You know, I know you guys got things to do. Get ready for your days and all that crap uh, for your weekends and all that. But at the same time. um, So let's just get into it, shall we? And I'm seeing uh, comments and all that. And, uh, you know, Lady Justice, welcome back. Hi, Lady Justice. Been a while, girl. Good to see your good to see your name up here. Uh, even up to date, you can get it multiple times. I was sick as a dog a few weeks ago, and I'm glad that you pulled through. I know that's the thing. I'm I, I've heard of varying degrees of of different kinds of things, right? And of course, you know, as you already know, we have to. I have to be very safe or careful about what I say uh, because you know the, them are the breaks, and they got uh, rules and stuff like that on on this platform and on many other platforms in which I can't really say a whole lot revolving around this main topic but i did want to talk about this because yes like i said i think this is a cautionary tale or you know it's a tale that you should listen to and use at your discretion right listen at your discretion and make your own decision right because i'm i'm not the one to try to jam certain ideas down your throat i feel like it is your body your choice type of thing so do what you want to do uh, but I do think that this piece of information, uh, especially surrounding this man, I think is uh, very important. Uh, so there's a there's an article from the Daily Mail that just recently well, that's been out for a few hours now. And I think we need to see this because, like I said, it's kind of like, bro, whoa, you know, it's kind of intense. OK, but for those of y'all who are starting to come in right now, meatloaf. Is dead. 
He died at the age of 74 years old due to complications of what? We're about to find out right now. So in this article that I'm reading right here from Daily Mail, it says, he says, if I die, I die. I don't know if he thinks he's Drago from Rocky, <laughs> from Rocky Four, but he said, huh, if I die, I die, but I'm not going to be controlled. That's literally what Meatloaf said in a, a very haunting interview five months before he died from the very virus that he was afraid of. Okay? So, let's get into it. The singer Meatloaf, which also makes me very hungry. Um, the singer Meatloaf said he was scared to death of the vid, but wouldn't be controlled by mask mandates and in a haunting interview that has uh, that was made more poignant by his death from this bug on Thursday. So the singer, 74, died on Thursday surrounded by his family, which is always sweet. That's always great. You, it, you know, um, I hope I'm as lucky, right, to be around the loved ones as you pass on. TMZ cites sources who said he died after becoming critically ill from the 19. Two weeks ago, his daughter, Pearl, posted on Instagram the, that a number of her friends and family had tested positive. She did not specify whether her father was one of them, but said, thank their, res uh, thank their respect for science that they're all up to date. Otherwise, they'd be way worse. It remains unclear whether or not he was up to date. He refused to disclose it to the fans and urged them all not to talk, talk politics when coming to his shows. And his family has not revealed if he died at his home in Nashville or in the hospital. Now, here's the thing. I, 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 I will say this. This is a little sidebar. OK. Um, I, I kind of respect the part that he said that he urged the fans, his fans, not to talk politics, that they just came to see his shows to enjoy a, a, a big sweaty man singing his balls off on that stage every single time, right? That, hey, forget anything else, right? Forget any of the crap that's going on. Come in here and just, en and just enjoy a show. Forget all the crap that's going on be, beyond these beyond these gates or beyond the, the venue's doors. I'm here to make you not think about the world. I'm here to not make, make you not think about your cell phone bill or your light bill. You see what I'm saying? You're here to have a good time, right? And so I agree with that. And now I'm hearing that Louis Anderson passed too? Bruh, bruh, what? Okay, that's insane too. We're, we're going we're gonna to get, I'm going to look that up too because that's, that's, that's breaking for me too. That's crazy. What? Okay, anyway, funny dude, funny dude. But anyway, let's continue in this. Uh, in an interview last August, he said he was against politicians trying to force restrictions on people the singer uh asked the journalist from the pittsburgh post gazette, uh, gazette whether or not uh they'd like a hug i'm happy to give you a hug i hug people in the middle of, of this ish he said the reporter replied you do you're not afraid meatloaf who was severely asthmatic and battled a range of other health issues before the panty said, oh, I'm scared to death. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but I'm sorry. I understand stopping I understand stopping life, life for a little while, but they cannot continue to stop life because of politics. And right now, they're stopping because of politics. And on CNN last night, it finally came out that the masks were uh, all, the masks we're all wearing are useless. I don't think that's entirely true. Obviously, there are many reports that show that they do help the stop the spread and all that stuff. 
that they're useful. But this is from Meatloaf's mouth, okay? Uh, but I've known that for six months. They don't do anything. They don't stop you from getting the the that ish. They're just a, a nuisance that make your nose itch and and make it so you can't breathe. Uh, the the reporter said, "Oh God, um, <laughs> oh God, uh, we're being controlled by everybody." To which he replied, "Yeah, I know, but not me. If I die, I die." but I'm not going to be controlled. So this is what he said himself, meatloaf doing his thing. Now, uh, real quick, before we continue on this, this article, if you guys don't remember, like, I know some people are like, who's meatloaf. Well, meatloaf looked like this back in the day. This was meatloaf in, in the past. Okay. And yes, N95s have, are, are work wonders. Those masks work wonders and all that. And so, you know, I know that there's some people out there that are deniers of both, you know, both the, the poke and of the masks and all that. But I think that they do help to a certain extent. Um, and, you know, I get it. Some people might think that is just, you know, they make some people might make might think like, hey, this is just it's just theater to make us feel safer, safer. But at the same time, I I think it does help. I really do think it does help. And yes, his name is Robert Paulson. Okay, so if you haven't seen Fight Club, okay, uh, he's in the movie as well. And uh, if you know his name is Robert Paulson then you'll understand. You'll understand what I'm talking about. But see the movie. Fight Club's amazing. And he's really great in that movie, too. Um, yeah, he's... I mean, he's an, he's an entertainer. You know what I mean? He was an entertainer. I totally forgot about Fight Club until I saw it in the, in the chat. You know, Courtney Marie. You know, his name was Robert Paulson. Real talk. But <clears throat> let's go back into this article real, real quick. Oh, man. I mean, obviously, you know, he was uh, doing his thing. Height of his career and all that. Um, now, this is from, I guess, his Facebook page. Okay. And it's just a, a little bit of like them making the announcement of his passing. Now, we now know that he died from, he died from it. He died from that ish. Unfortunately, I can't really go into great detail. And it, it it angers me that I can't say anything like this, but the fact that he passed from this sucks. But at the same time, it was like he was just, he didn't care about the precautions. He didn't care about uh, uh, being safe out here. I mean, he even said, if I die, I die. And that's some heavy stuff. And that's why I keep urging, like, I do feel that the if you are older, and you have pre-existing pre-existing conditions. I do feel that getting up to date is extremely cru crucial. And then of course, it, getting the boosy, okay? Because that's what I call it. Getting the boosy six months later, I think is extremely important as well. Especially more than ever, especially if you have pre-existing health conditions. Period. That's what you should be doing. That's what I think. And I know there's a lot of people that disagree, but I do think that it's better safe than sorry. But he was risking it all, pretty much. But anyway, <clears throat> it's very interesting. But here's the, the announcement from, <clears throat> I'm assuming... From the people <clears throat> that work with Meatloaf, our hearts are broken to announce the incomparable that the incomparable um, Meatloaf has passed away tonight with his wife, Deborah, by his side. Uh, daughters Pearl and Amanda and close friends have been with him throughout the last 24 hours. His amazing career spanned six decades. That's a long time. 
that saw him sell over 100 million albums worldwide and star in over 65 movies, including Fight Club, Focus. I forgot he was in Focus. Wow. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Wayne's World, Bad Out of Hell. Oh, sorry. Bad Out of Hell remains one of the top 10 selling albums of all time. We now we know how much we know how much he meant to so many of you and we truly appreciate all the love and support as we move through this time of grief and losing such an inspiring artist and beautiful man we thank you for your understanding of, of our need for privacy at this time uh from his hearts from his heart to your souls don't ever stop rocking and uh yeah I mean, you know, and there's stories out here. I mean, I've seen like a, a biopic when I was a kid, you know, like where he would literally like sing and put everything, like leave everything on the stage type thing, you know, just put everything out there, right? Risk it all and just sing to his, his heart out, literally, or sing to death almost. Um, and uh, he seemed to have a, Good life. <clears throat> Let's move on to this next article. Um, well, of course, the, the, the report's unconfirmed claim. Um, they, like the claims are out here. They haven't fully said, yes, it is because of this thing that's been floating around for the past two years. But uh, uh, things are starting to lean towards that. Okay. He had a severe case of it, okay? And that's what they're saying, according to an article by TMZ. Uh, the, uh, the official announcement from the star's death uh, did not give a cause. Other reports did also, uh, did also not suggest a reason. Uh, TMZ cited unnamed sources who told the outlet that Meatloaf canceled his business, a business dinner this week because of his illness. The infection soon turned critical, the outlet said. It's not clear whether Meatloaf, whose real name is Michael Lee Aday, was fully up to date. He's 74 when he died, putting him at a, high, a relatively high risk from the virus compared to younger people, which is true. The sources told TMZ that he had uh, complained about the restrictions, let's just say, when uh when in australia a statement on his facebook page said he died surrounded by his family but did not say how he sold more than 100 million albums which we already know and the it, the interesting thing is i i wonder if they're not saying like because right here they say this is the whole this is just this is the the statement and i find it very interesting that they didn't even say cause of death or they didn't say hey guys you know be careful out there people are you know this sickness is real please be safe please get up to date get the booth see if you can keep practicing social distancing so on and so on and so on right and they didn't do that at all in this they just said about his career but i, I and i get it maybe they will come out with another piece you know, it's like right off the bat, you are telling everybody that because there's fans out here. There are people that actually really, really love him. I mean, real talk, Bad Out of Hell remains one of the top 10 selling albums of all time, literally. So there are people out here that grew up with this, with with him and his music, right? That go to see his concerts even to this day. So the fact that he is, he died, I feel like the right thing to do is to talk about his career and the legacy he has left behind. Then you go into the other stuff later. You see what I'm saying? Then you go into the details of what actually happened to him. But first, let's celebrate the man, not the thing that possibly took him out or most likely took him out. But let's first honor the man. Let's do that first, right? But let's be real. He's in his 70s. He was known to be overweight. He has asthma and other pre-existing health issues. 
it probably would have been a good idea to get hooked up. Just saying. And I get that there are people out here that are scared. I get it. I get it, but I don't know. A little bit time, a little bit more time on this planet. I feel like it's kind of important in in my personal opinion, you know. But that's me. That's just my personal opinion. Okay. But yes, meatloaf is no longer here. Now I'm hearing something about. This is crazy. This is crazy. Louis Anderson too. Same day. Like what? Yeah. Hmm. This is nuts, y'all. He's dead too. And I mean, this just came out like less than an at least on this this article that I'm pulling up right now. This ha- this happened this article came out like 50 minutes ago. So Louis Anderson is dead at 68. What? A double whammy for one in one day? Bruh. Man, like all the stars are starting to drop out of the sky. What's going on? This is insane. So Louis Anderson, an Emmy winner, whose career spanned from stand-up and game show host to starring roles in TV and film, died Friday in Las Vegas from complications related to cancer, according to his publicist. Publicist, sorry. He was 68 years old. Damn. On Thursday, his friend, fellow comedian Polly Shore, whoa, <laughs> oh boy, anybody remember Polly Shore? Okay, uh, fellow comedian Polly Shore tweeted that he had said his goodbyes to Anderson and asked for prayers for the ill star. And it says it right here: "Attention, comedians and the comedy store alumni. I say this with a heavy heart." just left the hospital in Las Vegas where Louis Anderson, his sisters and close friends were kind enough to let me say my goodbyes. He's still with us, but keep him in your prayers. And I mean, regardless of what I think about Pauly Shore, because, you know, oh, you know what I mean? I, I can't, I just can't, but I can only imagine what he's feeling. And of course, yeah, there's a lot of people that had mad respect for for Louis Anderson. Um, I don't personally, I don't know a lot of his work. I just know some of it. And from what I've seen, he's he was funny. You know what I mean? He had some uh, some really great stuff, you know, Uh, but I didn't know. I'm not I was not a huge fan of his, but still he is still somebody that is known. um, He's, you know highly respected comedian and now he's dead too and that's weird so he was born with uh born one of 11 children in st paul minnesota anderson uh was a counselor for troubled children uh when he when he won his first place trophy wow in a 1981 midwest comedy competition the host of the competition legendary comedian henny youngman was so impressed that he hired the young comic as a writer that's a dope ride. Uh, Anderson was soon basking in his own spotlight on the comedy stages all over the country. Johnny Carson invited Anderson to make a, his national television debut on The Tonight Show in 1990, 1984, and Anderson's career took off. Appearances with Jay Leno, uh, David Letterman, The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, Comic Relief, as well as Showtime and HBO specials further cemented him as one of the one of Hollywood's top comedians. Uh, but it was hosting the beloved game show Family Feud in 1999 that made Anderson a household name and opened the, the doors for him into acting. Anderson guest starred in a, a, a multiple in multiple TV series, including Grace Under Fire, Touched by an Angel, and, and Chicago Hope. And he appeared in films like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Coming to America, and its sequel, 
coming to America. Don't see it as trash. Just letting you know. He voiced uh, a fictitious version of his eight-year-old self in a popular 1990s animated series called Life with Louie, which ran for three years. He recently, more recently, uh, Anderson appeared on Young Sheldon, had a reoccurring role in the dark comedy Search Party, and had joined the cast of the hit BET series, 20s. So he'd been working. He was busy. He had a strong career. Have mercy. Critics took notice when uh, in 2016, Anderson was cast to co-star along with Zach Galifianakis and Martha Kelly in the uh, FX hit comedy series, Baskets. I've never seen that show. I've always wondered, is it is that good? That's interesting. That's interesting. <clears throat> but I've never seen I've never seen the show Bas- Baskets. I've I've heard some really great things about Baskets. Um he, uh Anderson played the role of Christine, the matriarch of uh Baskets clan and based the character on his mother and his five sisters who he said were a major presence in his life. He won a, uh, the role, won him an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series, as well as a Critic Critics Choice Award for Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. Anderson was uh, uh, also a best-selling author. Have mercy. He, his books included Dear Dad, Letters from an Adult Child, Goodbye Jumbo, Hello Cruel World, and The F Word, How to Survive Your Family. Interesting. His most recent book, Hey Mom, was published in 2018 and combined wry wit and poignant humor while sharing his journey of turning life's challenges into joy, as well as plenty of wisdom he gained from his late mother. He is survived by his two sisters, Lisa and Shanna Anderson. Man, he uh, he was out here. He was out here, y'all. Damn, dude was funny. Talented guy. Very, very talented guy. You know, I want to play this. Let's see what the guy here. Someone's house and you're fat. They they overcompensate. Oh, come on in, Louie, and sit down here on this concrete sofa. (laughs) Or the reinforced steel lawn furniture. (laughs) Do what I do. Head right for that wicker. People say, Louie, why do you do those fat jokes? Because if I didn't, you guys would sit out there and go, you think he knows he's that big? <laughs> like I woke up one morning, oh, no. Baskets Family Rodeo. Yippee I O Kaye. Basket Family. Interesting. Very, very interesting, y'all. Uh, you know, like I said, it's just crazy that uh that's crazy. Uh that the that these two big names have, have passed within uh, within hours of each other, within uh, uh, less than 48 hours of each other, less than 24 hours of each other. It's crazy. You got Louis Anderson and then you have Meatloaf, both of them gone. Uh, one was battling cancer and another one was battling the other C word, which is absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, but like I said, I mean, they did leave. Both of them left a legacy behind. And I mean, that's all we can ask for, right? That we leave something that we all, that people remember us by, right? So it is really interesting um, and heartbreaking to hear that both of these guys are now gone. I was on here just to talk about like, 
just on here to talk about meatloaf and then found out right here live about Louis Anderson. That's insane. Absolutely insane. And um, to Heli, uh, just so you know, which one had cancer? Louis Anderson had cancer. And then Meatloaf was battling the stuff that we've been dodging for the past two years now. Wow. We're, wa we're waltzing into two years here very shortly. Isn't that crazy? That we've all been locked up or away and wearing masks and dealing with all this crap. But I say this to, to you guys, and I brought this up for a reason, because I think that, you know, when it comes to people of a certain age, I think it is very important that you look into the possibility of getting up to date. And I know not all of us will agree with that. I understand that a lot of us are nervous and scared of it as well, but I feel like it is the best choice out here, um, especially if you are someone who has pre-existing issues. I just say, hey, please, do everything you can to look into it and make that decision for yourself. But here's the thing. I'll say this one last thing. I just urge every single last one of y'all, if you're not going to go and do it, right, and get the thing, I just say, please be safe and do everything you can to try and not catch this thing because it is really serious out here. And you just see right here, a legendary singer, for example, Meatloaf is gone because he decided to live on the edge and not take the precautions to keep safe. But anyway, just saying, just consider it, y'all. Anyway, it's time to get going. I really do appreciate all y'all for being on. That's the show. Um, if you guys can do me a favor before you head off, please do me a favor. Hit that like button down below. Send those likes all the way up. Oh, and Nur, it's Nur's birthday, everybody. So happy birthday, Nur. I hope it's wonderful. I hope you're getting a lot of love, hugs, and kisses from all your beautiful kids and from your husband as well. All right. Hopefully you get a really great gift from, from your family. Uh, but happiest of birthdays. Uh, she's been here basically, I'll, I'll say, from day one, and she's incredible. So if everyone can send her as much happy birthday love if, if as you can, that'd be great. It, it, you know, send out a cash app to her. Uh, she deserves it because she's incredible. OK, uh, but anyway, guys, it is time to get going. Much love to you guys. Be good out there. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to send those likes all the way uh, send those subscriptions all the way up send those likes past 100 likes before you head off that would really really mean a lot okay anyway it's time to get going i'll say it again be good to yourselves be good to one another have a wonderful and prosperous weekend and i'm sure i'll be doing some pop-ups throughout the weekend because i'm sure there's been some crazy stuff going down so we're, we're going to talk about those things Okay, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> this is the Pascal Show. Bye.